Thanks for coming here Newton Geisler. We will be gone at a local business event for two days. So please keep an eye on our children. And also, our son David can be a spoiled brat, so don't give him stuff he likes, and it's also because Mrs. Gray is on the cruise vacation, so we have called Leatherback to tell you that you need to babysit our kids. Got it? Got it. Okay, Newton. We expect you to babysit the kids and not give David the things he likes. Okay, Newton Geisler. We will see you in two days. So keep an eye on their children. Well, at least Kendra isn't here to take away my car's merchandise. Yeah, yeah. I'm not taking your car's merchandise. Anyways, I'm Newton Geisler, a villain from the second movie in the Pacific Ring franchise, and I am here to babysit you guys since Mrs. Gray is on vacation. What would you guys like to do? I, wa I want to watch Cars Trilogy on DVD instead of watching The Excuse Rescuers me, Down Under. But aren't we Do you think you can interrupt my buddy Asshole? Down Under on VHS instead of? We're going to watch Cars Trilogy on DVD for movie day. But that's not fair. Why did you butt Kane in? He was about to choose Rescuers Down Under. How come our bratty brother gets to choose and not us? He is a spoiled brat and... No ifs, ands, or buts. You clowns are going to watch Cars Trilogy and that's final. Please, Newton. We do not want to watch Cars Trilogy. Because David is a spoiled brat who causes trouble and does not deserve anything. We want to watch The Great Mouse Detective on VHS. Shut the fuck up about the rescuers down under. You are going to watch Cars Trilogy whether you like it or not. You are foul-mouthed and hurtful to us. You guys would not let us watch The Great Mouse Detective or The Rescuers Down Under. David is a brat. He is our worst brother and deserves nothing. You deserve nothing? Say that to me and you guys are going to be getting cars related clothes and pose it for me. But at least let me feed our dog. Then make it quick. Yay. Cars is the best franchise in history. Newton Geisler is the best babysitter ever. You monster. First you let David butt in when he was asking. Then you made him cry. Us too. You made him run off crying. Please punish Dan. Say that and I will make you wear cars related clothing and you're going to pose. And your dog's going to wear a bandana. Oh the cane. I'm going to get him some cars related clothing and you as well. David's been good so far. He will be watching Cars Trilogy and you guys are going to as well. Kane, I found you. I found you because no, you ran off after no, feeding this dog I and hiding. I've easily found you. I want now you gotta get a car's themed outfit. You ran off and hid behind cereal boxes and snap capes that DVD. taste like dog poop. Why are we having Burger King? We have to have at least a healthy dinner, like meatloaf, peas and mashed potatoes, or even, chicken, green beans and rice. Because David likes Burger King. Also, the food of Burger King is way better than that never-ending trash. Just eat your kid's meal with a cheeseburger, fries, milk, and a hand-spun milkshake and a cookie. But Burger King is not good for us. We want healthy foods instead. And we already got enough store-bought snacks we have for the house. Please give us a healthy dinner. You're eating your Burger King meal so eat it. No way Newton. You are the worst babysitter ever because you did not give us healthy foods. We need healthy foods. Plus, we already got enough Little Debbie and other store-bought snacks we have at home. That is it Kimberly. You're going to eat this meal whatever you like it or not. And you're going to get a Cars themed outfit for you. But I don't. I agree with Newton. You are going to eat this meal no matter what.
Yes. We got the Cars DVDs and the Cars clothing and merchandise. Did someone say that you got David Cars DVDs and clothing? Asshole. That's none of your business. Why did you say that to me? You just defended that spoiled brat. Melchior, Yana, Newton Geisler just defended a brat that called me an N-word last time I was at Friendly's when he already got enough store-bought snacks at home. What? I remember that spoiled brat that called you a profanity N and F word just because he wanted a Sunday when he already got enough store-bought snacks at home. Newton Geisler, how dare you use the bat word to defend the brat David? You know we are not allowing you to get anything he likes. And Newton is a bag full of Cars DVDs, clothing and merchandise for David when we know he does not deserve anything. He is a spoiled brat being defended by the worst villain in a Pacific Rim franchise. What do you know? Asshole. Somebody just sniff my stuff I am not allowing you guys to touch. Watch your smart mouth young man, David does not deserve anything for using foul language at friendlies because his mom took all of his car's merchandise, and are you babysitting him and his siblings? How do you know that we are? Being the worst babysitter ever because you bought cars themed clothing, including Dino Company and cars skirt for Kimberly and Donatella. I heard that from Arthur and Buster Baxter using their bionic bunny binoculars to see that Newton Force came to pose with a Cars themed merchandise. And clothing? Oh! No, Dysler! You sick pervert! You are just about to force Kimberly and Don Tower to wear a Cars themed outfit and pajamas! After forcing Kane to pose in a car's outfit as well, you are a pedophile, a babysitter too light to troublemakers. We're out of here. Don't you dare run away from us, we are not allowing you to give David anything he likes, you pervert. Let no. us get in our car. No. No. Let us get in our I car so we can go home and do anything I cars not. related, you fucking asshole. I am asshole. not allowing you to do you anything off. related to cars. Shut the fuck up. Get away from Fuck off. You, you are a disgraced shitty rat who loves princesses more than fucking heroes, asshole. <laughs> you woman beater, come How back here. How dare you woman beater. Come back right now. He's getting away, get him, get him, get him, get him. Get him. Get him. Great. Just great. David and Newton Geishla just ran away. We must call his parents and tell them the babysitter is too light and needs to be punished for that. I know that. Newton Geisler is gonna force poor Kimberly to wear a car's related clothing and we are going to tell Nicole and William about this. They need to be punished for that. You kids are going to watch Cars 2 and that's final. For calling your mom about us, you will be forced to watch an X-rated animated movie filled with strip teases. Please, Newton. I promise my mom's gonna ground you and our bratty brother David for that. Fuck off, you bitch. Wait, David's uh, mine. Uh, 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 please stop. David, help me right please now. Please no. You're being so violent for too long. Please, David. I won't ground you or take all of your car's merchandise anymore. Please, I beg you. Yes, you fucking will. You will take all of David's goddamn car's merchandise and will force the kids to watch X-rated movies if they told anyone. Please, I beg you, do not throw an expensive drawer recliner at me. Please don't. Any last words? Please, David. I do not want to take all of your car's merchandise. Please, no. Nope. Too late. You do not mean to. No! You! You just threw a recliner at the pool! How dare you! You just not only sent her to the hospital with broken bones, ribs and limbs, you also costed her and William one thousand dollars, you DAP USB. But we did not. Don't you say that, you pedophile! You are an unstrict babysitter for defending a spoiled brat that had a really bad tantrum and friendlies for not getting any desserts. What is wrong with you, you woman beater? But we are really sorry. We do not want to do it. You and me to have totally forced King, 
Kimberly and Donna Taylor to do anything cards related and threatening to force them to watch an X-rated movie for not doing anything cards related. Now you and you two guys when I'm going to be grounded when your father comes here. I couldn't never ask for a much worse villain from the Pacific Rim franchise than you, you domestical abusive psychotic unstrict babysitter. Newton Geisler. International law supports that a babysitter has already defended the spoiled brat David and forced my kids to do anything cars related, making them pose in their cars themed outfit, threatened to make them watch a X rated movie, giving them fast foods and even beating my wife. You are a very unstrict and domestically abusive babysitter because you gave David the stuff he likes and threw a recliner at my wife, and gave my kids the stuff they do not like. I will be seeking legal opportunities to defend my wife and protect my kids, especially to keep my bratty son David away from you. I will also file a restraining order and a request to trespass to protect the integrity of my family. This is because you cost me a thousand dollars when you threw a reclining chair at Nicole. Now she will be in the hospital thanks to you. Now get in my room. I am scolding him and also calling Leather back about this. David. I am very disappointed in you for what you did to your siblings and your mother. I can't believe you got all of your Cars merchandise and as well as getting Cars DVDs after we told you that you don't deserve to have any of your Cars merchandise. Just for that, you are being sent to bed early right now. Now go to bed, and there will be no Cars trilogy, no toys, no TV, and I will be reassessing your pocket money, downwards, and I am returning all of your Cars merchandise Newton bought you as well, and also giving all the Cars clothes you and Newton bought to Goodwill. Hello Leatherback. I am here to call you about Newton Geisler's abysmal babysitting. Oh, please don't tell me he got in trouble. Unfortunately, Newton Geisler gave David the stuff he likes, forced his siblings to do things David likes, putting them on Cars-themed clothing and trying to make them watch an X-rated movie. He knows punishing children, especially spoiled brats with watching shows and movies they hate is not good for them, and that is not how life works. Oh, Newton Geisler's in deep trouble when we pick him up. We will be there in a moment. But I think Acid Quill wants to talk to you. Okay. Hi, Acid Quill. Hey, William. What's wrong with Newton? And what are the consequences for David since he got all of his cars, merchandise, and DVDs? Newton Geisler also injured my wife Nicole with a recliner which costs over $1,000. She will be in the hospital thanks to him and David. He also gave David Cars DVDs and toys, and forced his siblings to do the stuff he likes, and wear Cars outfit, because with David's help, Newton forced them to watch Cars trilogy and shorts. David has been sent to bed early and he does not deserve any dinner tonight. Starting tomorrow, David is going to be in the house, all year long. Doing chores, reading books. And that's it, all trips to see new movies coming out next year, cancelled. All plans in the year including vacations and outings, done. Anything for Christmas or other holidays, nothing. All TV and video game privileges, taken away. All of his car's merchandise, gone. Nope. Looks like David's gonna be doing chores and reading books all year long. There will be no movies including the car's trilogy, no toys, no computer, no phone. No music, no friends, and no dessert for him. David is officially hereby grounded until Transformers, Rise of the Beasts comes out in theaters on June 9th of 2023. He is gonna be in bed, all year long, thinking about what he has done to his siblings. This is to ensure that pedophile and woman beater Newton will never abuse my children nor my wife, ever again. I will also ensure that David will not leave the house. I want you to come here at a short notice. Okay, we will. Wait. Where's Newton? Oh no. Not this. Newton and David just left, I'm going to put on a nappy on him, and he is also getting a soap bar for his swearing, since I also forgot to tell you that David just used bad words with Newton since he allowed David to curse, especially at the characters from Lapich the Little Shoemaker. I have to go, see you later. Do you realize that Troublemakers attempting to get dinner or dessert tonight after being sent to bed early will get busted? Obviously that's the case, 
because you are trying to get dinner and dessert tonight when I know you were sent to bed for your bad behavior, and Newton, your wife beating on strict babysitter who threatened to force them to watch X-rated movies when you know punishing anyone as well as troublemakers via forcing people to watch shows and movies that they hit is very very bad for them and will fry their brains up, and strict babysitters like Dora's mom and no TV is way better than you guys and forcing them to watch shows and movies they hate. Your behavior towards children as well as David's siblings is extremely unstrict and abysmal, you know you allowed David to use bad words when we know we and his father will not allow swearing in this house nor our house. And trying to sneaking out for dinner when you know you need to be in bed is extremely abysmal as well. Come with me David, I will be putting you on a nappy and giving you a soap bar, and you are being tucked straight back to bed. I do not want to wear a nappy. Please I am too old for nappies. You're lucky his father William did not send you to bed early and gave you a soap bar, because all he wants to do is to do so. What you just did to them will leave the scars on the children that will not go away for a while. They will cry forever until someone can cheer them up and give them some healthy foods instead of fast foods. And also, you forced them to eat fast foods when they already have enough healthy foods and store-bought snacks at home, and it is indeed extremely overkill. Now they will have hire a much stricter babysitter to babysit David next time Mrs. Gray is not here. Just wait until that her batch comes here and I know he will have to ground you for a long time. Oh, he is here now. Thanks for coming on short notice. No problem. We are sorry that he had to do this. That's okay. I am disappointed in Newton for being unstrict to David. I am disappointed that my wife is injured. And I am disappointed at myself for hiring an unstrict babysitter in the first place. Newton Geisler. We are very angry at you for allowing David to get Cars related merchandise and letting him and forcing his siblings to watch Cars Trilogy on DVD. You know David is a troublemaker and does not deserve anything he likes. His siblings are not. You also realize that strict babysitters like Dora's mom and Manic the Hedgehog is way better than you. Now Leatherback will have to cook you some spaghetti squash for dinner with a kombucha drink. That does it Newton. You are mega grounded 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 for 1999999939399393 years. This means no legendary entertainment movies and shows, no Nintendo or Sega vacations and nothing legendary. Warner Brothers, Bandai Namco, Tolho. Take 2, Bones, IG Port, Funimation, Nintendo and Sega. That's right. Your trips to see Matrix Resurrections in theaters this holiday season. Gone. When we get home, you will go straight to your room and wait until the spaghetti squash is ready. for giving David Cars merchandise, forcing his siblings to do Cars-related merchandise, giving them white sugar, white dough and white flour as well as fast foods, and domestically abused and battered McCall. We will also suspending your violent Grand Theft Auto and Mortal Kombat video games, television, and your manipulative and violent alliance with the precursors and KIJ control. Go to your room right now. And don't come out until the spaghetti squash is ready.